Did you know that the first cities appeared over 5,000 years ago, transforming nomadic tribes into thriving civilizations? Think about it. What would it be like to constantly roam vast lands, hunting and gathering, and then suddenly boom, you have a fixed place to call home? It's incredible to imagine how monumental this change was. Let's explore this extraordinary journey of human society, from a nomadic lifestyle to the formation of complex city-states. We will analyze how these changes not only shaped the lives of our ancestors, but also laid the foundation for the world we know today. Sit back, grab your snacks, and let's embark on this time-traveling adventure. Now picture this. Our ancestors, Homo sapiens, the first humans, lived as nomads, constantly on the move. Not easy, not easy at all. They faced serious challenges. Scarcity of resources was a major issue. As the number of members increased, finding enough food and water became more difficult. Moreover, without a stable community, social organization became chaotic. Disputes over resources often led to conflict and confusion. It was survival of the fittest, and without knowing how to manage the increasing number of members, life could still be wild. So, how did they solve these problems? As the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. Our ancestors began to form communities to share resources and strategize for survival. This change was crucial, laying the foundation for something much bigger, the rise of civilizations. Let's dive into the fascinating details of how these early communities transformed into civilizations. What key developments made this transition possible? What caused such a significant transformation? It was agriculture, trade, and technological advancements that played a huge role. Before the first cities appeared, life mainly depended on the natural environment. Humans couldn't control their surroundings. They were entirely dependent on the resources nature provided. This meant that as the population grew, people had to constantly move to find new hunting grounds, fresh water, or fertile land. They depended on seasons and animal migration patterns. But with the advent of agriculture, everything changed. Agriculture forced humans to settle in one place. They, the early Homo sapiens, created houses to have sturdy shelters against nature and the environment. This laid the foundation for the emergence of the first permanent communities, helping to form larger, more complex societies. At this point, humans were able to produce more food than they needed immediately meaning they could store food and trade it with others and neighboring communities. Not everyone had to spend all day hunting or gathering anymore. Some people could now focus on other occupations, specializing in skills like pottery, weaving, or metalworking. The ability to produce surplus food led to the first instances of wealth accumulation, social hierarchies, and specialized professions. This change was not just about survival anymore. It was about creating a stable and organized society. This was a turning point, a moment in history that changed everything. And guess what? Trade networks began to flourish. Communities exchanged goods, ideas, and even culture, connecting people in ways they had never experienced before. Then came technological innovations everything from pottery to irrigation systems. These inventions supported larger populations and more complex societies. Now let's talk about the game changer, the rise of the first city-states. Imagine bustling streets filled with people, markets brimming with goods, and the constant buzz of new ideas being exchanged. These city-states were no longer just places for survival. They became centers of culture, governance, and economy. They established laws, created trade routes, and built monumental structures symbolizing their power and influence.
Think of places like Mesopotamia, where the Sumerians created one of the earliest known civilizations. Their innovations laid the foundation for everything that followed. Culture, governance, and economics developed in ways that still impact us today. This was a crucial moment in human history. What was life like in these first cities? Imagine the excitement and opportunities of living in ancient Mesopotamia. For the first time, people became part of something larger than their immediate family or tribe. They were part of a bustling, organized community. These cities became hubs of innovation. Art, science, religion, and governance evolved in ways previously unimaginable. Laws were written down for the first time creating a sense of order and justice. The development of writing systems like cuneiform in Sumeria allowed for the recording of laws, transactions, and even literature. Governance evolved beyond tribal councils and basic chieftains. Cities were ruled by kings, and with the rise of centralized power, society became more structured. Taxes were collected, armies were formed, and complex bureaucracies were developed to manage the daily operations of these growing civilizations. But not everything was smooth. The development of cities also brought new challenges. As populations increased, the complexity of resource management grew. Conflicts over land and resources became more common. Wars between city-states broke out as leaders vied for control of fertile lands, trade routes, and political power. Defensive mechanisms had to develop. The first walls were built around cities to protect them from invasions, and armies became a crucial part of maintaining the stability and growth of the city. This was a new chapter in human conflict, a chapter that would shape the rise and fall of civilizations for millennia to come. But what made these early civilizations so enduring? It wasn't just military strength or wealth. The real secret to their success was their ability to innovate and adapt. Agriculture continued to evolve with the development of irrigation systems that allowed for crop cultivation in previously uninhabitable areas. Trade expanded beyond local markets, connecting distant cultures and fostering economic and cultural exchanges. Technologies like the wheel, the plow and metallurgy revolutionized not only agriculture, but also transportation, warfare, and craftsmanship. Religion also played a significant role in unifying these early civilizations. Temples were built, priests gained influence, and religious rituals became an essential part of daily life. It was believed that the gods controlled everything from the weather to fertility and people's lives were deeply intertwined with their religious beliefs. These shared spiritual activities helped bind communities together, creating a sense of identity and common purpose. What's even more fascinating is how these early civilizations laid the groundwork for the modern world. The concepts of law, governance, and social hierarchy that emerged in these ancient cities still exist today. The writing systems developed to record taxes and trade transactions evolved into literature, philosophy, and science. Economic systems that began with simple bartering eventually created the global markets we navigate today. Even the architecture of these early cities, grand temples, public spaces, and administrative buildings, has influenced the development of modern urban planning and construction. Most of us don't realize that many innovations we take for granted today, everything from written language to the concept of centralized government, originate from these ancient city-states. Looking back on this journey through time, it's astounding to see how far we've come. From wandering the plains in search of food to building great cities that serve as cultural and economic hubs. The first cities might seem small compared to today's sprawling metropolises, but their impact was monumental. They set humanity on a path of progress that continues to this day. 
Every skyscraper, every piece of technology, and every system of government we have today has been influenced by those first city-states that emerged over 5,000 years ago. The effects of their agricultural activities, trade routes, and administrative systems can still be felt today. It's incredible to think about how far we've come, thanks to those early city-states. Now I want to hear from you. What is your favorite civilization or historical event? Leave a comment below. And if you're curious about the ancient technologies that shaped our world, don't forget to check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.